Hello everyone, it is Tuesday. Good to be with you. It has been a very busy week and so far, and of course, looking forward to tomorrow, but I hope you're doing well. And praise the Lord, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be encouraged uh, with the Word of God. Hey, I want to just ask you to continue to pray for my copper, and uh, I know that he would appreciate it very much, and would ask that you just continue to pray for one another. And of course, tomorrow night we'll be sharing some more prayer requests that I think you're going to want to listen to. And so, uh, so please uh, uh, join with us if you can, okay? All right. Well, have you ever <clears throat> been through situations where you just didn't know what to do? Well, unfortunately, I find myself in a lot of situations uh, in, uh, in, in, in what I do uh, part-time. In other words, I, I like to, you know, get involved with carpentry work and, and remodeling and things like that. And quite often I run into situations where I don't have, I don't have a clue what to do or how to fix something or, or what's the best way to go about, uh, you know, remedy the problem. And so normally what I do is I either ask someone that might know, I go online and and look at a video or something like that. I may even read a book. I have several books on different different uh, uh, you know uh, things that that pertain to carpentry and so. But that's what I do. But you know, even in life, boy, there's a lot of things in life that I don't have a clue about what to do either. You know, and how to be the right kind of. Uh, husband, how to be the right kind of father, how to be, and the list can go on and on. You know, and, and, and I, I hate to admit it, but, you know, I don't always do things right. But, you know, I believe the Bible is such a source of encouragement. It not only gives us knowledge, it, it enlightens us, uh, it, it, but, but I tell you, it gives us hope. It gives us encouragement as we strive as Christians to live for the Lord. And I want to read this verse to you. The Bible says in James chapter number one and in verse number five, if any of you lack wisdom, and I tell you, I think about that and I, every time I, I, I see myself raising my hand and say, yep, that's me. But the Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. In other words, let's get wisdom from God. And the Bible goes on and says that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not and it shall be given him. You know, I take comfort and encouragement knowing that first of all, you know, I'm not the only one. In other words, I'm not the only one that doesn't know how to do things. Uh, I mean, there are no doubt many more that lack wisdom. But you know the sad thing about it is a lot of a lot of people don't ask. In other words, they don't have a relationship with God, or are a lot of times we wait until the last minute in order to pray to or to or to seek the Lord's face on on whatever issue. But folks, I want to encourage you today. Let's don't forget that God is there, and He wants to help. You see, and and not only. You know, am I not the only one that doesn't know? But, but, but the thing about it is God is there and he's a resource and he wants you and I to go to him. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Maybe it's your marriage. You just, it's just not working. Can I tell you, God knows how it works. Have you gone to him? Have you asked wisdom of God? Now, wait a minute, hold on. Because if you ask wisdom of God and God giveth to, gives it to you, you got to be willing to do it, right? And so, oh, may we take advantage of God. Not in a, obviously in a bad way, but, but in other words, he's the resource. He says, hey, come unto me, all you that labor, labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. God wants us to come to him for all kinds of things. Not only salvation, praise the Lord, but also to walk with him, to learn of him, to grow with him. When we've got problems in life, go to him. Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. God says, I've, I've got the wisdom. And so today, 
Hey, don't don't just sit and do nothing. Don't don't ignore uh, your problem because I promise you it won't go away. But don't forget, there's a God, and He's willing to give you what you need to know what to do. So I ain't challenge you today, and I encourage you. Don't forget to go to the Lord in prayer and ask him for wisdom. Let's pray. Father, thank you. You are that source of, 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 of strength. You are that source of knowledge. Lord, you want to help your people, no matter what we go through. And Lord, may we, may we go to you, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about something else that goes along with this, but you got to wait till tomorrow. May the Lord bless you. We'll see you. Bye.